The traditional school year also gets underway in Durham, and this district says it's made major progress in order to welcome students back, including filling its teacher positions. Monica Casey joins us live now this morning. Do Durham officials there, Monica, have they worked out to smooth out these challenges they're having? <laughs> Good morning. They have, for the most part, Durham Public Schools are in a much better staffing position than they were this time last year. All bus routes are covered here. The administration emphasizes they are always hiring bus drivers, though, trying to keep that substitute pool of drivers filled as well. At the start of last school year, Durham had 250 teacher vacancies. That number this year is down to 110. Otis Maben is in his first year as the principal at Y.E. Smith elementary. He tells me his classrooms are fully staffed. No student here will walk into a classroom without a teacher. Um, I have a few other outside areas like my AIG teacher that I'm still looking for um, and a couple and an instructional assistant. But as far as like the classroom teachers, every day on day one, our students are going to come in with a teacher ready to instruct, ready to start their year. And one school that isn't opening on time, the new Northern High School. Durham Public School staff took us inside that nearly finished building earlier this month. But the recent storm that knocked out power for many and closed year-round schools for two days has delayed that opening. Students there will head back to school this Thursday, August 31st, with an open house scheduled for tomorrow. In Durham, Monica Casey, WREL News.